I'm gonna teach you how to quickly add a native iOS library in your uh, Kotlin multi-platform project. As an example, we're gonna integrate uh, Google Maps for both Android and iOS. At the time of uh, recording this video, the official Compose uh, Maps library is uh, not available for a Kotlin multi-platform, which means we're gonna implement a uh, platform-specific logic separately for those uh, two mobile platforms. But no worries, with the help of a CocoaPods plugin, this will be easy. First, before you start with the project itself, you need to go to Google Cloud Platform, create a new project and generate an API key. So this key will be used to initialize Google Maps in your app. I have already done that. Also, one important thing here to note is that it's recommended to create two of those API keys. One for the Android and the other one for the iOS. That way, you will be able to restrict the usage of uh, each one of those keys to your own application. And that's how you're gonna be able to prevent an uh, unauthorized use of those same keys. The next uh, step is to search for a Maps uh, SDK for iOS in this library and enable it. I have already done that, which is why I'm just seeing here a button that says Manage. Then, we also need to search for a Maps SDK for Android and enable that one as well. Great! After that, we can open up the KMP wizard and generate the project template for iOS and Android with a shared UI. After you download this zip file, extract it and open it up in Android Studio. When the project is fully loaded, we can open up the version catalog file. From there, feel free to remove uh, all these uh, unused libraries that uh, you may see. If you see any compile time warnings about the new version, be sure to update it. First, I'm gonna add here uh, two dependency versions that we're gonna use for uh, Android target only. Maps Compose and uh, Play Service Maps. You're gonna need those uh, two to be able to integrate the Google Maps in Android platform. Then, I will add uh, two more, this time for the iOS platform. So these uh, two versions down below will be used for uh, CocoaPods libraries. Later, I'm gonna show you where you can find about uh, those uh, existing iOS libraries in general. Great, so now we need to define dependencies. I will add uh, three of them for the Android target, using the above versions that we have already declared. Afterwards, go to the Compose app Gradle build file, and within the Android source set, let's uh, add those uh, three dependencies. Sync the project. We can also remove those uh, auto generated uh, Kotlin files from our project, because we're not going to use them. Afterwards, open up the app Kotlin file, remove all this default code from this function. And we can update this uh, Compose Material version to Material 3. Sync the project. Then go back and uh, import the new Material 3 theme this time and we're good to go. The first uh, thing we're gonna implement uh, Google Maps for uh, Android target. So in the common main we can declare an expect declaration that will represent a composable function called Google Maps. Then use a shortcut Alt or Command plus Enter to implement the actual declarations for both Android and iOS. Let's quickly handle the Android target first. So I'm gonna paste here the code that will display Google Maps on the center to fill in the whole screen. I'm using here some default coordinates to zoom in to a Singapore location. After that, go to the app Kotlin file and wrap this uh, common Google Maps composable within a box. Before we test and see whether this should work on Android, we need uh, to add uh, one more step. So, to initialize uh, Google Maps uh, on Android, we need to pass an API key. So just open up the Android manifest file and uh, add these uh, two metadata tags inside the application element. So this uh, second uh, metadata element is used to specify the version of a Google Play services that your application is designed to use. And by using this default uh, Google Play services version, it allows the Android system to automatically reference the appropriate version defined in the Google Play services library. 
This way, we don't have to hard code this uh, version number in uh, multiple places, which uh, helps maintain consistency across our application. And for this uh, first uh, metadata tag, just be sure to copy that uh, API key that we have already created within our project on a Google Cloud Platform. So, launch the application to see if this is gonna work on Android. There you go, we have successfully implemented Google Maps on Android. Now comes the iOS part. So first, in the version catalog file, we need to add a new plugin. This will be the CocoaPods plugin that will have the same version as our Kotlin version. Be sure to add this uh, same plugin in the project level gradable file, as well as the compose app level gradable file. After you specify uh, that uh, plugin, scroll down below within the compose app uh, gradable file, and just above the source set block, we need to declare CocoaPods block with a, a single property for now. This version should be set to 1.0. After that, sync the project and wait. The next uh, step is to create the pod file inside the iOS uh, app directory of this project. So the pod file in the Kotlin multi-platform project is used to manage CocoaPods dependencies for the iOS part of our project. So we need to create that uh, pod file and specify which dependencies we want to include and uh, make them available in the Kotlin multi-platform. I'm gonna quickly open up the terminal inside that uh, same directory so that we don't have to navigate to it manually. So you need to make sure that you already have uh, CocoaPods installed on your system. If you don't have it, then execute this command to do it. So I'm not gonna do it because I have already installed that on my system. Instead, I will execute a different command pod init. This will immediately create that uh, pod file under this uh, same directory. And after we open up that file, you will see some uh, auto-generated code. The first uh, thing, we need to uncomment this uh, line on the top and specify a target version of 15.4 uh, for example. This will set the minimum iOS version to 15.4 for the iOS target. Which means this application will run only on device with the iOS version of 15.4 or higher. After that, I will paste here uh, three libraries. So, the first one is a Compose app. And the reason why we need this uh, Compose app module in here is because it's uh, necessary for integrating the shared Kotlin multi-platform code into the iOS application. Then, there is the Google Maps uh, iOS SDK that enables the use of a Google Maps functionality in our iOS target for a Kotlin multi-platform. And the third one is the utility library for the Google Maps SDK, which uh, provides some additional features like uh, clustering, heat maps, and others. Even though we are not gonna use this utility library in this video, it's a still useful feature to have it. Finally, let's uh, try installing these dependencies that we have declared. So, open up the terminal once again, and write the command pod install. So, right now we're gonna receive one error, because there is a one more step needed before installing these dependencies. So we need to go back to our Gradlebuild file and uh, add uh, some more lines within this uh, CocoaPods block. So, this uh, whole block is uh, used to configure the integration between your uh, shared Kotlin code and the iOS uh, side of the project using uh, CocoaPods. So, we have a summary, a home page details, a target iOS version, the location of our pod file, as well as uh, all these uh, three iOS dependencies within the pod function. I have linked those uh, versions from the version catalog file by the way. Now, you might be wondering, how can you know the exact uh, same name of those uh, CocoaPods libraries? Well, easily. You just go to the official CocoaPods website and uh, search for one of those libraries. Then, if they exist, they will appear right away in the drop-down. However, that the version that you may see in the drop-down is not the latest one. Instead, you need to click on it, and then on the other page, the latest version will appear. So, finally, after this whole setup, be sure to sync the project, then open up the terminal once again and execute pod init command. After which, you should see that a green success message. 
And with that, we have completed and initialized those uh, iOS libraries in our Kotlin multi-platform project. Before we implement the logic for the iOS part of the Google Maps, let's uh, quickly initialize the Google Maps within the iOS uh, app uh, Swift file and pass an API key. For the demonstration purpose, I'm just gonna copy that uh, same API key from the Android manifest file. But again, I repeat, you should create here uh, two separate API keys, one for the Android and the other one for the iOS application. So that way you can uh, restrict the usage and prevent an uh, unauthorized access. Finally, open up that uh, actual iOS declaration and let's implement the logic to display Google Maps right here. So, you'll notice that we are using those uh, CocoaPods imports right away, to access those same libraries from a Kotlin code. So now, I'm gonna quickly write some uh, platform-specific code for the iOS to load that uh, map on those uh, same coordinates as we did with the Android. So, if you want to learn uh, more about uh, this uh, iOS SDK, you should consult the official documentation. Or even ask a ChatGPT to help you out. But bottom line, it's not that hard. The last uh, thing we need is to open up this uh, project in uh, Xcode and launch the application. One important thing here to point out is that uh, projects that are using uh, CocoaPods can be run only with the uh, XC workspace, which is why you need to locate that file in this uh, project structure and then right-click, open in, and then Xcode. So, after the Xcode is launched, wait for the build process to finish and uh, test your app. I'm gonna use here my own iPhone device, which I have previously connected with my MacBook. And then click the play button. Ok, so our build has failed. Let me see what this is all about. Ok, so uh, before we can launch this application on our iPhone device, uh, we need to create uh, and select a development team. If you haven't uh, created that uh, development team, you can do that within the Xcode. So just uh, sign in here with your Apple ID and uh, you're good to go. Be sure to select the iOS app from the left panel, then go to the sign in and capabilities. Then if you don't have this account, just create one. In my case, I have already done that, which is why I'm just gonna select it. After that, wait a few seconds and you're good to go. So let's launch this application all over again. Alright, so there is one more build error. This build error says embed and assign task cannot be used in a project with the dependencies to pods. Now, to avoid this issue, we're gonna open up the Android Studio, then Gradle Properties file, and within this file I'm gonna specify one line of code. So this uh, settings right here allows your uh, Kotlin multi-platform project to embed and assign Kotlin native framework that are built with the CocoaPods dependencies. This was previously a common method in older versions of a Kotlin multi-platform to manage iOS frameworks. So now let's launch that application once again, and uh, we should be able to do that without any more errors. There we go. So that's how you can implement uh, Google Maps on a both Android and iOS using a CocoaPods plugin. So it wasn't that hard at all, wasn't it? So don't forget to leave a like to this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.